Hi everyone, Officer Potak here. Hi, it's Officer Best. And we are coming to you from 14th and Poplar. It is a beautiful day out, the sun is shining, so we decided to come sit out here and read to you today. Finally, yeah. Actually, <laughs> here there is a memorial bench in memory, of, in memory of Freddie and Albert Farah family. So if you're out this way, take advantage of the nice area, the bench, the flowers and everything. We're gonna sit here and read a couple books, enjoy the nice weather that we finally have. And the first book that we're going to read out here today is going to be Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo. Click clack moo. Clickety clack moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack moo. Click clack moo. Clickety clack moo. I'm starting to think click clack moo is Officer Best's favorite books. <laughs> if you notice, I make him read click clack moos. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown. The barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. They typed in a note. <laughs> it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Look at that, unionized cows. <laughs> I think they need Whittock to negotiate their contract. Absolutely, he's very good at it. <laughs> no milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. I think that would about to get on my nerves with those cows in the typewriter. Maybe we can get them to do some schoolwork for us. Yeah, there you go. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Now they're recruiting others. This could be dangerous. That's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take credit for that. That's an old Marx Brothers joke. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a note on the barn door. Closed, no milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickly, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a Hi. thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs, Farmer Brown? He was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. 
your cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Putting them back in their place. If you're lucky they don't end up at McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> It's not Burger King, they cannot have it their way. <laughs> <laughs> Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. <laughs> Leave it to Duck. <laughs> Duck the negotiator. Kind of looks like Whittick. <laughs> the cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop but none of them could understand move. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. There's a shock. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. So they gave back the farmer his own typewriter? Hi, Pretty smart. Hi! What are you guys doing? We're doing a book reading right now. Oh, that's fantastic. One o'clock every day on the Catasauco Police Facebook page. We do a book reading and you can have them, you can have your kids or you can watch yourself. One o'clock, Catasauco Facebook page. We're making it. There should be one posted 35 minutes ago. Excellent. <laughs> by, by the way, officer, my, my son misses you. Well, I miss him. He's at Shackler. I'm sorry? Does he go to Shackler? He always, my, I always drop my daughter off and he always sits there and you always give him a handshake and a high five. So, he always, every time we dropped her off, he was always looking for you. Ah, uh, tell him I miss him. Say hi. Please do. Absolutely. Please do. Thank Thanks so for much. stopping. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Uh oh. Click clack quack. Click clack quack. Clickety clack quack. It doesn't sound like they were oh, so good at negotiating man. for the farmer. <laughs> I think they played the farmer for a fool. What's in it for me? Yeah. Oh. I don't think Farmer agreed. They got their diving board. <laughs> oh, they got, oh, uh, my bad. They got their diving board. Farmer Brown knew when to give it in. <laughs> That's the end of Click Clock Moo Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. I like that book. I thought it was pretty cute. Those cows, that, <laughs> that farm, let me tell you, is nothing like the farm I grew up on. <laughs> me either. I wish my animals could write me notes. So we want to thank everybody for being out here today and watching our book reading. Oh, we have another friend. Oh, there's come somebody over, else. Say hi. Come over and say hi. Book reading for who? For kids. We do a book reading and we post it on our Catasauco Police Facebook page uh, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. So all the kids of the borough can watch. So we sit here and read to them. Good. Yeah. So we hope thank that you, you enjoyed it. And I do want to remind everybody to chalk their walk. And I can tell you from where Officer Bess and I are sitting, I am watching a woman and her daughter currently doing some artwork that we're going to go check out when they're done. So if you're out there and you're chalking your walk, send us a message, let us know. We'll stop by and see it. Look for Flat Pat. Look for Flat Pat and make sure that you stay well, stay safe. On a beautiful day like today, get out, chalk your walk, yep. get some exercise. And most important, like we always tell you, wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Bye. Bye, guys.